Hi Yi, can you hear me? Yes, Simon. Good morning. Yeah, yeah, let me hand it the meeting host access to you. Are you? Are you be the? Uh, are you today's meeting host? Or yes, funny? yes, I think so. Okay, I will hand it over to you. I think now you have the access to enable the live stream. And I will. Yeah, I. Yeah, I saw the, saw the menu live on YouTube. Yeah. So the meet when the meeting uh started, we I will enable this one, right? <clears throat> yeah, correct. Yeah, it seems that uh, it was already recorded. Uh, let me check recording. Okay. Yeah, let's wait for uh, one e uh, or Pradesh. Let me turn on my video. Hi, hi folks, I just switched to my personal account. Hi, Fiman. Yeah, I see we have a few new folks, I guess. Uh, the folks that might be our candidate for LFX mentorship. So I think I can add a new topic for LFX mentorship program introduction. In this way, they can understand how can they for our project? Yeah, I will add it to our today's agenda. Hi, Pritesh. Hey. Uh, I think we can get started. Uh, Wani, I think Wani is uh, off today. He, uh, she might join. Uh, but let's get started while waiting for her. Okay, Pritesh, uh, anyone else you expected? Uh, nope, uh, I think I'm the only one joining today. Okay, uh, let me share my screen. <laughs> Can you see my screen? Yep. Okay, uh, let's get started. So welcome to today's uh, Notary Community Meeting. So I think before we uh, uh, started, uh, go to the agenda, let's welcome new uh, participants, uh, San, Sanjay and, uh, sorry, I only have one screen and uh, Miran. Myron, sorry if my pronunciation is not correct. Uh, maybe Sanjay or uh, Myron, you can uh, give a quick self introduction. Uh, 
uh, can I go first? Yeah, sure. Sure, yeah. Uh, so my name is Sanjay. Uh, I'm in my junior year of uh, computer science degree. Uh, and I have been uh, doing front-end work for almost three years now. Uh, so yeah, uh, I found out about uh, Notary, about uh, this, uh, 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 this uh, in LFX. So yeah, uh, I'm here to contribute uh, the, in this project. Yeah, welcome Sanjay. Uh, hello. Am I audible? Hello. Hello, am I audible? Hello. Yes, we can hear you. Okay. Yes, so, we can hear you. Hi, my name is Mirar. Um, I'm currently a uh, third year at uh, uh, University of Westminster. I'm uh, currently interning for a company called WSO2. Uh, so my lead um, asked me to investigate uh, uh, the update framework and notary. So coming across that, I uh, came across Stock of and Trust, Notary V1, and came across Notary V2. And uh, we are trying to implement Notary V2 and image signing in one of our uh, applications and projects. So I just thought of joining this community call to get some understanding about when the release is happening, how I can incorporate uh, it into our company and become an uh, early adopter. Okay, great. Great, thanks. Thanks, Myron. Of course. Yeah, and, and please also let us know if you have any uh, other questions or uh, issues that we can follow up later. Will do. And yeah, and also feel free to Add the topic to our uh, community meeting. We we have uh, this meeting, uh, two occurrence uh, per week. One is, uh, I think, in the afternoon, uh, U.S. time. Uh, another is uh, uh, Thursday morning, uh, U.S. time. So feel free to add the topic, and we can have follow up discussion uh, offline as well. Thanks, Mara. Okay. Uh, then let's uh, get into our talks today. Uh, so today we, we don't have much talks. Uh, the first two are related to our uh, upcoming releases, RC5 and also a stable release. Um, so I want to check the current uh, RC5 uh, PR status. Uh, let me switch to another view. Uh, in RC5, uh, we will uh, introduce uh, the experimental flag for the OCS flag, and which is also, um, we, we also want to deprecate one flag uh, signature manifest uh, for the artifact manifest because uh, it was removed in the latest OCS flag. Uh, I think we, we, have, uh, we have two PRs, one in notation Go library and that PR uh, was resolved. Uh, we have uh, one more in the notation CLI. Uh, uh, okay, this one. Let me open it. So anything, anything pending here? Uh, we did a discussion in the under the issue that I think uh, currently we are clear about the solution, right? Uh, Pradesh, uh, Patrick. We can just open the issue one so that we can yeah. conclude the discussion here. Yeah, I'm opening the issue and we can conclude it. Let me scroll down to the bottom. Yeah, <laughs> sorry. <clears throat> Did you click on that comment? I think I tried to summarize that in the comment for 659, the last link. So, yeah. So, uh, when the experimental flag is disabled, we will only use OCI 1.0. Basically, we won't use any of the reference API. We'll always use the reference tag schema to pull and push the signatures. 
and when experimental flag is enabled and customer uh, user uses refresh, whatever flag we yet to be decided, to, I'm just calling the user refresh API flag. Then we will stick to OCI 1.1 specification, which includes fallback for both sign and verify operation. Yeah. Yes, I think we previously we have some different opinions on the sign, but uh, uh, it was the process also defined in the spec, right? So. So we, we, we align that for sign, we also need to do the fallback. Basically uh, the same as verify, inspect, and the list command. Uh, any any uh, comments from Shiwei Patrick on the updated? Uh, yeah, so just to confirm, uh... So for uh, both sign and uh, verification, we are going to do the fallback when user uh, attempting the reference API. Uh, is that correct? Yeah, with the, when the experimental flag is uh, enabled. Cool. Oh, uh, and um, uh, by the way, I also want to add that I, I, I lost the access to uh, my original GitHub account, Patrick John. 200. So um, I had to unlink my uh, Microsoft email account uh, from that GitHub account and relink to my new GitHub uh, account to continue working on Node 3 project. Uh, just a reminder that uh, uh, the, my new account, uh, uh, let me, let me uh, share my new account in the chat so everyone can uh, can see. Yeah, so this is my new uh, GitHub account and it's linked to my uh, Microsoft uh, email account. And uh, all my previous commit history uh, are already transferred um, to this new GitHub account. Um, I think we, we also need, uh, because uh, the previous count uh, was the maintainer for notation CI, notation go, notation call go repository. So we also need to, may, maybe uh, Patrick, you, you should uh, nominate uh, your new count as the maintainers so that uh, uh, other maintainers can vote for it. Um, what do you think? And any comments from from other maintainers? And I saw Saji uh, post a question. Any other place we need to update it? Uh, Patrick, uh, this study. So it, that's because you lost access to your account. Is that correct? Uh, yes, uh, both the two FA and the recovery code are lost. Okay. Yeah, we need to uh, submit um, updates to the maintainers and uh, code owners for all the repositories that uh, you have access to. And we need to remove the other accounts uh, from having any access to it. So uh, we need to file an issue first uh, for that and then update the corresponding repositories. Uh, Patrick, I think uh, uh, the next step is you file an issue and uh, explain the situation and the changes and uh, uh, so that other maintainers and org maintainers will be aware of it. And once we, 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 we agree on that, uh, I think uh, probably you need to create a PR uh, so that we, we will update the code owners and the maintainers files accordingly. And I, I think also the GitHub teams, right? So, so please file issue first to expand the current situation and uh, how to solve it. 
Sure, I'll, I will do it today. Thanks. Okay, I, I also saw Shui's comment. Yeah, please, uh, I think in the issue, uh, it's better that you can also mention that the places, uh, which places should be updated. Um, okay, so please file the issue. Yeah, I can. Then, yeah. Uh, yeah, I can look at that uh, once uh, we file the issue. So I can look at what needs to be updated and I'll post it in the issue. Just okay. shoot me the issue, Patrick, when you're ready. Sure. Okay. Um, I have a question on the PRs by Patrick. Are they ready for the review with the latest changes? Uh, yes, it is. Okay. So what you have implemented is what we discussed today. Just to confirm. Uh, yeah. Okay. It should have the current uh, implementation based on the current discussion. Yeah. Got you. Thank you. Yeah. Um, sorry, I just uh, noticed that the flag name seems different as proposed by, yeah, by other people allow reference API, referral API. Can we align on the flag name? Yep, that for example, really you, yeah, you use the allow referrals API, this one. Let me check the PRs. This is the PRs. Yeah, the uh, PR yeah, the is PR, also using the name. Yeah. yeah, the PR is using allow referrals API, but I think Sajay has, the, has a different uh, suggestion. Uh, I, 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 if I remember correctly, Sajay suggests to uh, name it just allow refers without um, API. Uh, let me find the think? comments. Um, I cannot find the comments. It's strange. Uh, I think it's in the in the PR. It's it's in the PR review. Okay. It's, it's not in the issue. Okay. Yeah. Uh, is Sajay the call? Yeah, Sajay is yeah. also in the call. So let's uh, let's align on this naming. Yeah, it just seems to indicate like. Uh, I don't know, is, is it common to prefix or suffix API in front of flags? We don't say manifest API, we don't say anything like that, right? Uh, uh, yes, it's not common to have suffix like APIs, uh, but if we remove the APIs, it will cause anything, uh, I mean, the flag uh, ambiguous, uh, because the tax schema is also called referrals tax schema. So if we say allow referrals, we are allowing the uh, referrals API or allowing the entire uh, referrals solution, including the tax schema and also the API. So it will cause ambiguity. Does the spec call the tax schema referrals tax schema or just, oh yeah, that, I think that is what it is. Okay, then I don't have any recommendation. I, I think I, you can ignore my comment. Yeah, in the comments, uh, Pritesh also uh, asking whether it's better to use uh, use instead of allow. Um, uh, use, yeah. Yeah, uh, use and allow are different. Uh, use means yes, we use refer APIs, but we are not we will not fall back. But allow means yes, we will try to attempt to the uh, reverse API, but if, if but if it fails, we will do fall back. Uh, it's, it's just a different wording. Uh, I don't have a strong opinion here. 
allow work. Comments from other people? Uh, I saw Sajay's comment. Uh, I use means it. Okay. So so we are aligned that uh, using allow referrals API with flag name. Yeah, I'll update my comment. Okay. Um, by the way, I think currently this is the experimental flag. So if later we figure out a better name or something else, we we can also uh, we can also change. Uh, so let's choose the best that we we can have today. Okay, thanks, Sanjay. Uh, so then we are good on this PR, right? So uh, I think Pratesh, you can uh, continue to review it. Okay, I think this is the this is the PR that we need to. Uh, I think it's the only one PR for for left for the RC five. So once this PR uh, gets removed, uh, get merged, uh, we can start to prepare the RC five release. Okay, if no more comments, let's go back to the agenda. Uh, the next one is uh, the, also related to the PR review. Uh, so just now we talked about the PR for RC5 and for uh, 1.0, we do have some other PRs, for example, uh, Pritesh uh, had this PR open. I think uh, uh, we needed to review it. Uh, by the way, Pradesh, any any other people from your your team can review the PR as well. Last time, just small changes. Last Rakesh, I'm going to take a look. Yeah. Rakesh, yeah, okay. Um, and also, uh, this one, uh, I saw some comments on this one. I'm not sure whether CVR joined today. Let me check. CVR is no. not in total no. meeting. Okay. So maybe other people can help. Um, yeah. This one, and also I realized that uh, the one from from other team uh, as a contributor also approve these changes. Um, Pradesh has some comments. Um, anyone can help to answer it. Yeah, I, I was just trying to look for documentation of ORA credentials, but I wasn't able to find any. Like how it changes from Docker credentials to or how it's implemented, things like that. Uh, so first of all, uh, all of credentials go uh, just mimic the Docker credential. So it's exactly the same as the Docker credential. So you may find the exact same thing in the Docker CLI repo. And uh, uh, for native store, it just calls the uh, the binaries. So the binaries are not in the control. Uh, and by the way, uh, because uh, this library does not do any uh, uh, crypto stuff or basically uh, uh, encryption or decryption. So I don't think it's a security component. 
it's just do CIUD. So can we call that out in the documentation somewhere or ask to where we can refer and read that? And it also help other people who are reviewing it or looking at the code base, why we are using it, how we are using it. Um, Pratesh, I just forwarded the design discussion, the design proposal for ORAS credential code. I think it might be helpful for you to understand the goals and the, the implementation design of that project. Oh, thank you. Okay. Uh, any any other uh, questions, Pradesh? Besides the document, the design document. Any other questions? I will go to the design document and see. Yeah, I think I need to read the doc first. Okay. Okay, uh, let's go back. Yeah, we that's I think that's the that's the PRs for one of zero, the, the major PRs. Uh, let me check the project board. Okay, um, I think uh, uh, after Patrick uh, finished the PR for RC5, we, we still have some other uh, other issues that's uh, in the 1.0 scope. So there could be more PR uh, created later. Um, Pritesh, there, there is one more um, issue assigned to your team. It's about uh, the standardized symbol link checking. This is also uh, from the security review. So th there could be something we need to do. Uh, there could be not. So this basically needs some code review work. Uh, this is my understanding. Yes, I think probably we'll need some code changes here. It's just that it takes, yeah, it requires some investigation and it will take some more time to implement. Okay. Um, so, um, so please let us know how, how much effort you required for this one. We'll do. Yeah. So that we, we can understand the timeline for the release. Okay, we, we do have some other PRs to be filed. So let's get uh, uh, the existing one uh, review and merge first. Uh, okay, any questions on the on the PRs and the releases? Uh, if no, we can jump to the LPS mentorship program. Maybe uh, I'll hand it over to you, Freeman. Yeah, thanks. I see uh, before we walk through the LFX mentorship, I see we have a new attendee joined us, Fan Du. Maybe we can give Fan opportunity to introduce he or herself. Hey, Fan, can you hear us? It seems, it seems Fan is not 
uh, active in our, or maybe he or her has device problem. So if uh, you have, you want to introduce yourself, you can enable your microphone and uh, tell us. So I think, uh, I, yeah, I, can, I think you can continue to present and uh, I can briefly introduce those three projects, yeah. Can you first open the RFX mentorship link? The, 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 the first link that I added that, yeah, can you go back to the agenda? I just wanna highlight the timeline for everyone. The RFX mentorship hyperlink. Yeah, this one. Yeah, actually you may notice the timeline. We submitted two new projects to RFX mentorship on May 9th, and now the Menti application is open for everyone to apply for that. Uh, and it will, the deadline will be May 23. So if you want to submit your proposal to notary and apply for a notary project in RFX mentorship, so please notice that you have to submit your resume and uh, project proposal via RFS mentorship platform. So E, could you please switch to the first project that you had ever opened? Yeah. The first one would be a design and implement the, note, the new Notary website. As I mentioned in this page, uh, we previously had a CNCF employee, which helped us to implement the first stage of the Notary website. So we are looking for people who can help us to continue work on the uh, on the current notary website. And we have some expected outcomes like uh, redesign the community page at uh, built-in search and uh, design and implement a video page. So I will not go through the details. If you are interested, you can go through this page and find the related issue and share your, and told us your interest about, about that. I'm the mentor for this project and I can help you on design and implementation. Um, I hope the mentee should be proficient in Figma design and uh, front end development skills. Yeah, this is the first project. And uh, the second project would be the notary documentation and blog post. Yeah, this is another new project that we submitted to RFX mentorship. And E is the mentor for this project and I, I can also help on this project. So uh, in short, this project goal is to develop content for notary documentation and write blog posts to educate users about how they can use notary with uh, different use cases. And, uh, we are also responsible, the mentee should also be responsible for maintain and update those use guides and to maintain those guides up to date. Yeah. We also have some expected outcomes for this project. So if you have any, any questions, you can contact E for uh, consulting or uh, contact me directly. The third one is the uh, work, is the Hashcop World plugin, which is still uh, in progress. Uh, I think the latest updates for uh, this project is that we, um, yeah, this is the project for uh, notary hash copy board plugin. Um, Binchi is the mentee for this project and Shui and Patrick are the mentors for this project. So uh, we have these three folks are nominated to become the initial maintainers for notary hash copy board plugin. And fortunately, we have cre created the uh, repository on the notary organization. So maybe you can go back to the agenda. I have a link added to the new repository that we created last Friday. Yeah, actually we, uh, after uh, reached the maturity of approval from the community, uh, we, are able, we were able to create this repo and uh, uh, Shui helped us to create this one. And uh, the next step would be define the code owners and initial maintainers for this sub project. So I will open a new PR to add our initial four maintainers and uh, code owners for this project. 
And I forgot to mention that we have another uh, maintainer from HashCorp Boat, which is a HashCorp, uh, HashCorp employee who is willing to help us maintain this project and uh, help us review PRs and uh, uh, test the POC for this project. So we will have four initial maintainers for this project. I will open PR to add those initial maintainers. Okay, uh, I'd like to hand it over to Yi and uh, to see if any mentees or folks who are interested in our project, you can open your microphone and share your thoughts or feel free to ask us any questions. Yeah, thanks, Feynman. Uh, any qu questions on this program, mentorship program? Uh, I am interested in the uh, design and implementation of the new Rotary website, and uh, I wanted to know uh, if uh, this we this website is only for developer uh, uh, guides, right? For notary uh, uh, not notary thing. Yeah, it is actually uh, for developer and the users, and we and you can see the current website on notaryproject.dev. We will iterate that project website with okay. new Figma design. Okay. Uh, I didn't see the Figma design. I, I went through the web website, but I couldn't find the Figma design. I could share the Figma design as it is still in my personal Figma account. If you are interested, we can share it with you. Yeah, sure. You can share it so I can get an idea overview of what redesign your guys actually. Thanks, I think I can reach out to you offline and share that Figma design with you. Okay, I will add you to that Figma design and grant you access. Sure. Yeah, thanks Sanjay. Uh, any question from other people? Uh, fan? Uh, Ben, too, are you still there? Yes, I'm here. Okay, great. Could you um could you give a quick uh, introduction to yourself? Uh, okay. Uh, hello, everyone. I'm Ben Du, and I'm come from Beijing, China, and I'm working in JD.com, one of the biggest commercial market in China. So this is my first uh, uh, first time to join the notary meeting. And uh, I want to do something about this repo. So uh, maybe next time I will do some work with others. Yes. Thank you, Yi. Yeah, thanks, Fan. Um... Please, yeah, let us know if any uh, help or support, it, uh, support you, you need it, okay? Um, you can, uh, and also for other people, feel free to reach us in the Slack channel. We, we have the Notary Project Slack channel. Feel free to post questions there and also create issues, PRs. Thanks. Uh, yeah, I want to say yeah, I want to say hi to Fan. Uh, I'm also based in Beijing, and uh, I'm one of the notary maintainers. So if you are interested, maybe we can meet in person and uh, have a discussion offline. Fan. Mm, okay, I will contact you later. Yeah. Thanks. Great. Okay. Uh. I think we have uh, everything we want to discuss today. Anything else? We we still have 20 minutes. Anything else from anyone? Uh, Patrick, Junjie, Shui, Todi, Sajie, Pradesh, anything else we want to discuss? Yeah, uh, 
I kind of miss, uh, do we have target date for the release or not? Uh, you mean for the RC5? No, for the final release. Um, One zero uh, zero. Yeah, we, we still uh, have several PRs uh, not merged and also uh, there are also issues that's uh, pending for new PRs. Uh, yeah, before yeah, we, 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 we previously discussed May 17th for the 100 release. Uh, I think last week, uh, Ritesh and I, um, uh, we discussed that actually that will be replaced by RC5 now for May 17th. Uh, but uh, we need to put some target date for the uh, 100 release. Yeah. Yes. Uh, can we get to some agreement? Will that be in the month of May or will that be later? Um, yeah, I think uh, end of May is uh, is promising, but we, we still need to have this follow-up meeting with uh, uh, security audit team. Uh, I think this uh, this Friday. So after that, we will be more confident to set the date. So still, several things need to okay. be yeah sorted can out. We, yeah, yeah. Can we uh, next? So that will not be on the next Thursday meeting, but next Monday meeting. Can we actually agree on date for the release? Yeah, I th I think so. I think by. Next Monday, we, we will have the uh, information from the follow-up meeting with the security. And we will also uh, have a clear status for, for the PRs. I, I just uh, uh, discussed uh, the PRs for the for the 1.0 and also some, some issues um, pending for new PRs. I think by next Monday, we will have uh, enough uh, information data to make a decision. And also, I'm okay. expecting uh, Wani to work with me together, but uh, she's not today. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. Thanks a lot. No problem. Yeah. Anything else? Um, Myron. Uh, hi. Uh, I know I'm quite new to this. I just have a few questions regarding a few things. Uh, one, few suggestions as well. Uh, of course, but. Uh, I uh, wanted to ask now, uh, obviously we're looking to automate this process of using notation. Yes, so I wanted to know if there's uh, like GitHub action support and stuff like that. I already saw uh, one kind of action set up uh, from a person called Daphne. Uh, I did uh, see that he's from Microsoft and I saw uh, some kind of uh, uh, actions kind of release he has done. I want to know if uh, y'all are going to expand on that. Also, uh, something now I love uh, how uh, most of the documentation for notation CLI help didn't see much related to how to use plugins, uh, what should be done. I found my way through finding how to use Azure Key Vault and stuff, but then thought that that should be more included in the either the website or at least the repo itself. Uh, that's an, uh, just a suggestion, but apart from that, my problem was related to the GitHub actions and automating and stuff like that. Wanted to comment on that. Yeah, we we have a yeah for the GitHub action, we we have the the plan to implement uh, new GitHub actions, um, but currently they are not available. And the only one you find is, as you mentioned, is from Joshua, um, and. Uh, uh, I do have a question for you. Uh, for the GitHub action, you you are expecting uh, set up install notation. Anything else you expected? For example, uh, sign um, yeah. sign images or verify images. So maybe you you can um, uh, clarify uh, more yeah. details. Uh, so looking to sign images. Uh... Essentially, uh, what do you call it? Sign it using the notation CLI and uh, make sure that it's verifiable as well to the users for the specific product. Okay, great. So basically, the GitHub actions you're expecting are uh, in installation, uh, maybe set up some configuration and the sign uh, 
uh, sun images and Wi-Fi images, right? This, yeah. uh, okay, great. We, we, we have the plan uh, for the GitHub actions. And uh, um, yeah, I just saw Beeman posted the issues. Uh, maybe I'll open it. Yeah, we, we have these uh, issues opened uh, and we have a plan to implement those uh, GitHub actions. Yeah, I think maybe we can um, follow up later. Um, maybe you can also help to contribute to it uh, if you uh, would like to do it. Uh, sure. Good luck. Uh, related to the plugins and documentation, uh, is there any way like uh, we could see some of that either on the website or uh, the repo? Because I didn't see it directly there. Um, for the plugin, we, we have the spec uh, under this project, uh, notary project, we have a plugin specs. Um, yeah, this one. And I, I do agree with you currently, we, we need a user a guide or a document on the website for the users. And I remember we also have uh, examples, right? Um, Patrick or Junjie, you can comment. We, we, can, we, we have examples on how to develop plugins. Maybe we, we can think about how we can uh, link those to, to a document so that user can refer to. Uh, Junjie, Patrick, uh, about the plugin examples. Uh, Patrick, Junjie, are you there? I remember we have the plugin uh, examples that the user can refer to. Um, is it related to examples in Notation Go? It, it, are you mentioning the examples in Notation Go? Uh, it could be Notation Go or Notation CLI. Uh, I remember um, we did some work. JJ, do you know we have uh, examples related to plugins? Oh, I think there is an example in the uh, E3, E3 test. There is a, a prototype uh, plugin, but I think that, that is another example. Um, we have the I have the keyboard plugin. I think that could be an example or the hash corp plugin. Uh, I'm, on the, I'm on the shuttle, it's a little noisy, sorry for that. Uh, sorry, I cannot hear you clearly. So, Sophie, man, go ahead. Yeah, I want to clarify if Miriam is asking for developing a plugin or use a notation plugin. I think this, is, this might be different. Miriam, uh, could you provide uh, yeah. any clarity? So I uh, wanted uh, like uh, the use of plugins and how it can be used um, as a developer and then how it's being used uh, in the signing process and then uh, how we can connect everything together. That I just wanted it to be a bit more clear when we initially found it like on the website and stuff. That's what I was referring to initially. Hmm. It sounds like you wanna develop a new plugin based on notation? Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, I mean, like there are existing plugins, right? Like uh, the okay. keyboard and stuff. So uh, details okay. on that to be more clear when we first find it as uh, users, like users of notation, like in the website and stuff for it to be there, like uh, how to install, what, what like an example of how to use it and so on and so forth, something like that. Okay, I got you. Okay. So yeah, okay. yeah. yeah. Mira's question is asking about how to use an existing plugin, TMS plugin with notation. So I think I can quickly provide my answer to your question. Look at the current status about the notation plugin is that uh, we have only one available plugin, which is Azure Keyword KMS plugin, which is used to store and uh, manage uh, key and assert in Azure yeah. Keyword. 
which is the document is available on Microsoft Azure documentation. And you can find that link on the from the notation readme. And another plugin which is ongoing is the notation hash curve world plugin, which is designed for on-premise environment. And this, this plugin is still in very early status and we are still develop, developing it, as I mentioned in the LF mentorship. So we will have that project available maybe this month for uh, early trial and test. Okay. Uh, I just I just shared a link. Uh, that's uh, just a doc uh, for using um, AKV with uh, notation CLI. Yeah, uh, from Miran, uh, yeah. Uh, do you know what kind of uh, plugin uh, you need? Do you have any requirements yeah. or? Uh, no. Uh... I just wanted to know uh, like the details of uh, using something like Azure Keyboard plugin to be more accessible, like uh, like either on the website or something like that. Uh, Azure Keyboard is what I will be most likely using. So it should be a problem there. Okay, thanks. No worries. Yeah, from the uh, readme uh, of notation, you can see Currently, we only have uh, one uh, Azure Keyboard notation plugin, and uh, we also have HashCorp plugin uh, on a new repository. Yeah. So yeah, and I think your 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 question asking are valid. That from a website, we should have a document link pointing to the right place yeah. for the plugins for how to use in plugins. Thanks, Mary. Yeah. Okay, uh, anything else? Yeah, if uh, if no, maybe we can close early today. Uh, giving back seven minutes. Thank you, everyone. Thank you for the new participants. Thank you. Thanks all. Uh, Thank you, folks. Thank you. Bye-bye. Um, Bye-bye. Thank you.